Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you at the 19th of December here. FOMC day. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of things to talk about and a bunch of different scenarios to look at. Uh, I personally think he's going to raise rates and say he's data dependent. But it doesn't really matter what you think. You just have to be prepared for all strat all scenarios now. So let's just go over this real quickly. If he doesn't raise rates, uh, we crush dollar yen. So uh, you see, there was this little blippy move down to 19, um, which was just stops and low liquidity. We're going to be smashing uh, dollar yen through 112.23 uh, if we're above here uh, when FOMC comes, if uh, he doesn't raise rates. Obviously, there'll be a huge gap, but we don't care. Um, this kind of defines the long term pennant or wedge or whatever you want to call it for dollar yen. If he does not raise rates, we smash dollar yen. If he does raise rates, we smash euros. So 112.70 uh, is a good little line in the sand. Uh, there should be some distance. If you expect it just to be rangy today, which we do, there should be some distance between us and 112.70. Uh, so this is hawkish. Basically, he raises and he just says, I don't care what anyone else says, we're independent and data dependent. Because the data isn't a disaster in, in the States. Stocks are, are beginning a bear market. All the uh, commentators are getting nervous. Oil's collapsing. But it's not like we're in a recession. It's not like we're growth is about to go negative. Unemployment is still at, uh, you know, all-time highs so this is if he is hawkish also you could buy dollar Swiss if he's hawkish um, this one's always a bit trickier just because it's dollar Swiss but those are our two horses if he's sort of I don't know how he could be middling so if he's like hawkish but then screws with the balance sheet uh, or if he raises and then screws with the balance sheet, says we're gonna we're gonna be slower on our lightening up of balance sheet assets. Uh, that becomes more tricky. I mean, I expect more of a two-way flow. Um, everyone says that's gonna be great for emerging markets, and now I'm talking everyone. Every single person I know is like, oh. Ooh, they're going to slower their pace of rates. Let's buy emerging markets. Uh, I'm not buying into this. I certainly now I'm not going to fade it uh, in the first early stages, but um, this kind of consensus call, when finally even, uh, you know, my Bloomberg feeds the guy at the end of the Bloomberg, uh, what's uh, Bobby Jones thinking? Or what's Chris thinking? What's Chris interested in this morning? Um, whoever Chris is, you know, he's jumping on this sort of. I would say Morgan Stanley started it. Uh, now everyone, Goldman, kind of copied them. Now everyone, every single person I talk about, is like, oh God, you know, lower pace of rates, emerging markets are going to do great. There is some truth to that, and low and lower oil prices is also good for emerging markets, but. I'm not uh, fully buying into this. You need good leadership. Uh, you need a growth economy. Uh, and most emerging markets do not have this. I don't mind buying India here uh, above 71. I don't want to get into NDFs and I don't want to get into long term investments uh, today. But um, anyway. If it's a dovish hike, people are going to buy emerging markets and sell dollars today. I will not be doing that. Just be watching. Um, so, there we go. Those are kind of the three scenarios. 
Um, we have some time now. I guess we're effectively 12 and a half hours from the announcement. So give it some thought uh, on all of your scenarios and just be ready, right? You know, have your plan ready and then be ready to execute your plan. We also have Sterling CPI today and CPI out of Canada today. Uh, those are market moving, both of them are market moving releases. Uh, if the Sterling CPI is bad, this will be, um, this will move cable left. If it's good, if it's hot, I'm not so sure it has much of an effect just because of the Brexit effect. And as far as dollar CAD, I mean, we are at the massive range highs here with oil on its knees. Traded up to uh, 135 the figure yet last night. If this is hot, some guys are going to get caught long dollar CAD. So this will be an interesting setup uh, in the CAD. More on that on Twitter as we get there. All right, uh, not too much to do here. We've all been waiting for this now all week. So now you just got to get your mind right and your plans in place. Good luck, people. I will talk to you tomorrow.